that you can protect yourself on the streets. The art of self-defense and of attack on occasions may also come in quite handy in the home country. Now, if you watch carefully, you will see how a woman can use a man's superior weight to her own advantage. Did you see that? Now, let's watch that once again normally. And now, in slow motion, watch it carefully again, cousin. I'm going to be promoted. Now, as he starts to advance his left foot, listening, Linda? you will notice her position. Knees bent slightly, and toes turned slightly inward. Oh, that's marvelous, Montag. There. Now, you see how easily she has disposed of her... The opponent? captain told me while we were out on a call. She takes what did you say? Step forward. Her I'm talking about my promotion. Does that mean an increase, dear? How much? He didn't mention that. We could move to a larger house. Would you like that? I'd rather have a second wall set put in. They say when you have your second wall screen, it's like having your family grow out all around you. Linda, how many of these pills have you taken today? What's that? Oh, those. Help yourself. I've got another bottle full. How many have you had? Oh, don't carry on like that, Montag. Only a few. Anyway, tonight's special for me. I've got a part in the family. What? ...against the enemies of the public peace is gaining momentum. Today's figures for operations in the urban area alone account for the elimination of a total of 2,750 pounds of conventional editions. 836 pounds of first editions and 17 pounds of manuscripts were also destroyed. 23 anti-social elements were detained, pending re-education. You see that? Cousin Claudette's got a booth on tonight. Who? Cousin Claudette. Who is Cousin Claudette? The cousin announcer. The one you don't like. I don't like any of them. Why, don't you get the kitchen family fixed, Montag? You are awful, really. Oh, hurry, hurry. I'll be on in a minute. Quickly, quickly. I don't understand. How can you be in a play? Well, they've written a play, you see, with one part missing, and that's me. When the people look at me, then I have to speak. They ask me a question, and I have to say what I think. The play, it's beginning. And oh. now, for cousins everywhere, our family theatre. Come, play with us. Naturally, in what you are about to see, any similarity with the truth or with real life would be purely coincidental. Do bear that in mind. So, will you come play with us? You will? Good. I thought you would. Come in, cousin. Be one of the family. See here, Charles, do you realize what a dilemma this is? It's terribly difficult. I don't see any way out of it at all. Oh, come, 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 Bernard. Of course there's a way out. Now, there are 13 of us so far, right? You want to invite Edward as well, which makes 14. Yes, but if somebody's ill, Charles, then we should be back to 13 again. Precisely. Then we must invite more people. That's an idea. Now, what about Lottie and James? That'll make 16. Then if somebody's ill, well, at least we won't be 13, will we? Hmm, but then there's the problem of the rooms, Charles. Lottie has two children, Charles, two little boys, Freddie and little John. I don't see any problem there at all. We can put the two children in, well, in Helen's room, for instance. What do you think, Linda? Look, we're here, they're waiting for you. I think that... You see, Linda agrees with me. Lottie's children must go in with Helen's children, of course. Linda's absolutely right. But then there's the problem of the seating, Charles. I think I've got something worked out, though. Look, if we put Yvonne at the head of the table and Richard at her right... Oh, no, 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 Bernard. Richard isn't even speaking to Yvonne these days. Oh. Because of Leslie. Oh. Madeline must be at the head of the table. Besides which, Madeline is older than Yvonne. She might even be older than Jacqueline. Now I see no problem there. We put Madeline at the head of the table. It's Madeline, isn't it, Linda? Absolutely. Well, if Linda thinks it's all right, well, then of course it must be. But there's still the problem about the rooms, Charles. Well, what rooms are left? That's the pink room. We could always put Lillian in the pink room. And we could put Susan in the green room. Yes, but... Where can we put Monica, you mean? Yes. What can we do with Monica? Do you have the answer, Linda? In the blue room? 
Linda, you're right. She's right. Linda, you're, you're absolutely, absolutely fantastic. You saw it, didn't you? I gave all the right answers. Wasn't it wonderful? I could have been an actress, don't you think so? <laughs>